So I'm checking out this VJZFA wireless lavalier microphone, and I'm really excited about this because, man, this looks like it is jam-packed full of features, and that's really cool. Now, out of the box, this thing comes really nicely here with a case just immediately, which is awesome. So if you guys are wondering, man, can I take this anywhere I want? Am I going to have like this like gaggle of items and I don't have anywhere to put it? You're going to have this awesome case, which is really cool. Uh, it also does come with this nice little baggie right here. So this probably puts the cables and stuff along those lines. Let's go ahead and open this up. And one thing that really stands out immediately, guys, is all the different types of things that come with this nice wireless microphone setup. Now, right here you have what looks like it's the uh, dead cat, which is really cool. Then you have what looks like a USB-A to USB-C. Wow, it even comes something that you don't typically see with, like I've never seen this before with a wireless system like this, a wireless microphone system. It comes seriously with its own head buds. That is really cool. I was not expecting that. And by the way, it comes with two of them. So if you guys were wondering, this comes with two sets of head buds. That's really cool. And then you have what looks like a lightning adapter. So if you're wanting to use this with your phone, your Apple iPhone, you have that. And then finally, you have the 3.5 TRS to 3.5 TRS. So this essentially would be for cameras like my mirrorless cameras, which is how we're going to be testing this out today, uh, which is really cool. And then finally, the star of the show. Let's take a look at these microphones. Now, real quick, I do want to show this does have a cable right in the back and one really cool aspect about this thing is that man the case itself this is a really high quality case like it is really i think it's i think it's made out of a metal which is really awesome so i think that's freaking awesome to see now in the case you have what looks like the the uh the receivers and the transmitter this is the uh it looks like it's the receiver and then these are the two transmitters. And one thing that really stood out to me about this is that they claim that it's really easy to kind of set this up. And in terms of, you know, switching between the different features and that, and, that, and that's something that I definitely want to check out. Let's go ahead and turn on all three of these and see exactly how they look. And then immediately, as you guys can see, you turn this one on and it's wanting to look for the other two that I don't have turned on just yet, but um, it's got a nice little screen right here. And one thing that stands out about this screen too is that it's really bright, which is really cool. All right, turning on the other microphones, let's see how this goes. All right, so this gets turned on and then immediately, as you guys can see, the bar is starting to go up and down. So let me go ahead and pretend like I'm talking straight into the microphone and then you can kind of hear exactly how it's uh how it's how it's leveling out which is really cool so uh, i'm really impressed you're getting a lot of feedback here it's telling you the audio levels so i'm really really impressed with that and happy to see that all right so now we have both of them turned on and you guys can see that it is doing its thing right here which is cool so you you now have them both on and you're both going and it's in mono which is good all right so one thing that i'm noticing right here is that it does have a gain boost so if you take a look at this uh, if you press this button right here it tells you right there, it's saying volume, but that's the gain boost because I'm noticing that when I put that higher, the volume gets a lot higher. So watch. I put it all the way to four. And then my levels are still the same. And then you see how it boosts the volume. So the volume is 100% boosted now because I turned on that gain level. So if you're wondering if there's a gain function, there absolutely is. Now, one cool aspect that I'm noticing is that this thing completely can be used individually in terms of setting up your, uh, if you're trying to put noise canceling, if you're trying to use a reverb function, which is really cool that this has a reverb function. So essentially what you would do is you, if you guys take a look on the buttons on the side, you press the buttons here and then it tells you the, the little indicator light turns on. Now, when the blue light is turned on, that means that the noise functioning is actually, the reduced noise functioning is on. If the red light is on, I'm sorry, I think it's the red light, the reverb function is on. So I think it helps with kind of the reverb of a room if you're standing in like an echoey room. Now, real quick, I do want to mention that it does have a really nice little clip on right here. And then if you guys are wondering how this looks within the camera, um, you can just go ahead and as you guys take a look right there. You simply just go ahead and put it in the back of your camera like this, like I'm going to. And then you simply just clip this onto yourself and then you use the other microphone if you need to use this as well. So and you just use the simple clip on. So really, really, uh, really, really nice and intuitive, which is I really, really like seeing. And then one thing I've never seen this, uh, first off, I've never seen a wireless system have a reverb, but there's also an acoustic uh, setting. So that's actually the green indicator light. So the blue, uh, the red is reverb, the blue is noise reduction, 
and then the green is acoustic so that is super cool and that makes a lot of sense because I am in an echoey uh, my entire house is echoey with the exception of the room I'm in so we'll of course test all of those out and see how that looks. We'll test out all the different functions and modes. And quickly, I do want to showcase kind of the dead cap being put on here. Um, it's nice and simple. It kind of just clicks on right here, which is really cool. And then it's on right there. So really, really nicely well done and, and really well made. And I didn't mention this before, but microphones themselves are made of really high quality material as well. So these are one of these microphones that you'll probably maybe drop a couple times and you don't got to worry about it being destroyed or anything like that. But let's go ahead now and do some sound samples and see how all of this sounds. All right. So testing this out now, uh, there's different settings. And one thing, one setting that I've noticed is by far the best is this one right here, which is the acoustic. There's two other settings as I talked about before. There's a reverb and then there's the kind of noise canceling. And you'll definitely notice with the noise canceling, the algorithm will try to suppress any noise in the background. But this is more for the pure voice if you're wanting the very best audio sounding. And that's what you're gonna get with this acoustic. Now I am in a very like terrible sound treated living room where the ceilings are really high. So the sound is traveling and bouncing back all over this entire area. Now we're gonna go ahead now and test this out with two of us so you can hear uh, both of us on the microphone. Go ahead, my uh, lovely wife. Just talk about anything. So in the summer, it gets very hot. And in the winter, it basically feels like summer. So it's like summer all, all year long, basically. Right. Yeah. So you guys can hear kind of how she sounds and you're getting two of our voices there. Uh, but man, I have to say I'm really impressed so far with the quality of these microphones, especially if you keep this on this acoustic setting. Uh, and then we'll now go ahead and test it out on the fan noise with the noise canceling, but it's definitely been very impressive so far. All right, so this is me now in a normal room. There's a lot of echo in this room. So we are on the reverb setting. So maybe this will sound pretty decent. I'm not sure yet, uh, but this is kind of what this is at now. I'm gonna go ahead now and change this up to some of the other modes and see how that sounds. But overall, uh, the levels look great and everything looks good sound-wise. One thing I, I just noticed that if you press this button here on the on the top right of this, it actually puts it in, in, a, in a silent mode. So you do have a quick silent mode if you need to do that. Now this is the acoustic setting on the microphone and I guess it says it's good for like music and stuff along those lines. Obviously I'm not playing any uh, music myself, but you kind of get an idea of how this sounds. and. See how, and I think it's a singing or something. So along those lines, so you're kind of getting an idea of how this sounds versus the reverb setting that we just had. All right, so now we're in the noise canceling setting and I'm not sure if this kind of muddies my sound in any way, shape or form, but I do have an AC on. And now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn on a really loud fan and you guys are gonna be able to kind of get an idea of how this sounds. And now I have a nice, really nice loud fan next to me and hopefully uh, you kind of get an idea of how this sounds having, you know, some really not loud noise in the background. Now, ideally, this would also be great using maybe if you were to be out on the streets and there's a ton of cars, you can get an idea of how this sounds in that setting as well. So um, you're kind of getting that different type of, of sound with all three of these settings. I'm, I'm assuming I haven't heard it yet. We'll find out soon. But either way, I have to say visually, these are very comfortable. Uh, these head, these, these microphones have been very comfortable to use and very nice to use so far. So now it's a matter of seeing how this sounds. All right. So now I'm back in a different room. This room is a little bit more treated than the room I was just in that big living room where I was testing this out. Now, obviously I showed you guys how this sounds having that noise canceling and kind of getting rid of some of that noise in the background. This microphone essentially has like this little nice neural AI that does a good job trying to just eliminate that background noise and giving you the cleanest audio it can while suppressing other sounds around you, which is really cool. But one setting that I think is a little interesting is the reverb setting. So let me go ahead and switch to that. And this is the reverb setting. And I don't see a lot of applications for this. Obviously it has this weird echo and it's not very pleasant, but you do have this option if this is something that you want. And I think it's awesome that it adds this little reverb option that makes me sound all ridiculous and echoey and, and stuff like that. So I think that's really, really cool. Now this is back to the, the noise canceling feature of this microphone and I don't really have anything but my AC on so you're kind of getting maybe the audio quality of what this sounds like in a in a treated room which with these types of microphones you're not going to be mostly in a treated room but still I want to give you guys kind of a comparison. 
And then we're back to my favorite setting, which is this acoustic setting. And I think this is the best for spoken word and doing this. If you wanted to sing in these bad boys, you can't. Now, I just want to mention that one thing that completely shocks me about these microphones is the audio quality. I own a pair of DJI microphones, the wireless microphones, and a pair of Rode microphones. And I've hated the Rode wireless goes, and I've used the DJI. Well, this one to me is not only up there in quality, sound quality, uh, but it's it maybe even surpasses it, especially in the case of the Rode. I feel like the DJI has been a better, uh, better audio quality than than the road does i feel like it gives better audio quality than that one but i feel like this one's right up there maybe even surpasses it i kind of have to put the audio sound uh, right next to each other and maybe i'll give you a sample right now got these really nice like leather seats right here and you can tell this flybird uh, bench is meant to last which is really key and that's something that i was looking for and looking for a bench for myself but otherwise this is a really cool set of microphones and it right compared to the kings of what's in this space i think it really stands up next to them and gives you some really nice audio quality and the thing that really stands out the most to me about this is actually how easy it is to use as you guys noticed i showed you earlier just switching between the buttons it's very easy to go ahead and change the different modes and do all the different things and if you're looking for something a lot more easier to use and handle i really think this one fits the bill so overall does this have my recommendation it absolutely kills me kills it for me and i couldn't recommend this more if i tried this is one of the best audio wireless systems i've used and it comes at just a nice near point compared to the big kings of this setting. So overall, guys, couldn't recommend this more and definitely consider picking this up.